Hey guys, today in this video, I am going to show you how to highlight text like a marker does. So at first what we will do is we will type the text that we want, we will take the text tool and you can type what that we want to be highlighted. So I am typing uh, hello everyone, we will highlight this text now. Then what we have to do is we cannot get this uh, effect if we are using uh, it on text. So we will convert this into a picture, we will take that uh, export frame tool and we will click on that. We will get a picture that will be found in the assembly panel. In the assembly panel, the color matter which you are seeing there, that is the picture. So now we will not be having any use of those two things. So we will only export the picture now. What we have to do is we have to duplicate this picture now to apply effects on the other picture. On the other picture only we will be able to apply the highlight text highlight effect. So we will duplicate this now. So since we should be able to see the highlight effect and we should be able to crop the second picture. We will reduce the opacity of the first picture that is below to around 50% so it will be able to see what will be happening on top of that. The next what we have to do is we have to go to effects panel and search for crop. In the effects, effects control effects panel search for crop type crop crop and you will find the crop effect. So drag this crop effect and apply it onto the second layer. On the second layer you have to apply the crop effect and then go to the effects control and then uh, click on the crop button he will be able to manually adjust the crop settings so here you have to select the first line only because we want to highlight the first line select the first line itself so here I am going to select the first line you can see that I have selected the first line then what we have to do is we have to apply the highlighter effect okay so to apply the highlight uh, before that reduce the opacity back to 100% uh, now we have to apply the highlighter effect so we will go to lumetric colors here you can do whatever that you want the, the most basic thing is uh, change the temperature and the tint balance so that you will be able to change the color I can see that I have changed the color now after this go to again effects panel and search for linear wipe if you L I N E R type linear wipe and search for that and again I take this take this effect and apply it onto the second layer and then go back to effects control panel there you will find the linear wipe options there what wave angle what you have to do is you have to convert it into minus 90 percent if it is 90% it will start from right to left we want it to happen from left to right right we want it to happen from hello everyone we will so convert it into write it uh, change it into minus 90% so the moment when I change to minus 90% uh, if you if you check on the transform transform count countdown there you are seeing that at 0% it will say it's fully covered so convert it into 100% first uh, open key keyframes and convert it into 100% when it is at 100% nothing is highlighted so go a little bit further into your timeline and the place where you want the full first line to be highlighted make it 0% click on another keyframe and make it 0% so now you can see that the first line fully will be covered so the first line fully will be highlighted after some time okay this much only now think that you want to highlight the second line itself what you do is you take the you, you take the second layer and copy it once again and paste it on top of that layer okay so we will copy this layer now Type Control C and Control V. That's okay. Sorry, just wait. Come at the end of the time timeline. Uh, type Control V. Now take this layer and paste it on top of the second layer. So this will be our third layer. Okay. Now take this layer and paste it on top of the second layer. So this will be our third layer. Paste it at a point where the where the marking ma marker effect of the first line gets over. So like hello everyone. We will see here the mark here, here the marker effect is getting over of the first line. So drag drag it at the, that place. So now we will have to highlight the second layer. So to highlight the second layer, go to FX control panel, then go to crop. In crop, now you have to select both these lines. Okay, previously we had selected only first line. Go to crop, click on that. Now we will select both these lines. Let me go a little bit forward. We will select both these lines. Now when you have selected both the lines, the effect will be applicable for both the lines. No need to do anything, just get it down. Now you see you will be easily able to get the second line also. You can see that the first line was highlighted then, now the second line. So this is the first line getting highlighted and then second line get, is getting highlighted. So that's it. I hope you have learned how to highlight the letters in hi highlight the text in this video using uh, Premiere Pro. Hope this video helps you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Subscribe to more such videos.